Hello my lovelies! Today's video I wanted to dedicate to a topic that all of you love really much. I've noticed on my channel that you are super particularly interested in bags, my favorite bags, opinions on bags, uh, what's in my bags and things like that. So today I decided to show you my top 5 bags for traveling. Now I was thinking if I should do a disclaimer before this video and like explain to you that obviously you know what this video is about so if you clicked on it and then you're saying that you don't want to watch someone brag about their bags I mean I guess it doesn't really make much sense does it? Never mind that I would like to say obviously that I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, form. Bags are something that I like to invest or I like to own and collect and yeah, that being said, I'm going to show you my five favorite bags to travel with. When I travel, I often carry a lot of bulky things with me, including my laptop, always in my hand luggage preferably in my handbag because I like to work on the plane. Uh, then I often carry a very big camera. I would show you what it looks like, but it, I'm actually filming on it right now and it's pretty big. Um, then sometimes I also carry like a diary, a spare lens, obviously the wallets, passports and other equipment, sometimes including a vlogging camera, a GoPro. Basically, it's not a lot of fun traveling with me because I carry a lot of heavy bags. I also wanted to say that these are not mentioned in any particular way of like preference or anything. I would like to start with the bag that I probably wore the most for traveling until today's date and that would be the Celine luggage tote. I guess the name comes with a reason. It's a little bit now scruffy but obviously you can massage the leather and get it in the right shape. I've owned this bag for I would say almost maybe four years. Yeah, almost four years and or something like that and I don't think it lost that much of a shape considering that I wore it day and night literally considering that I pack it with a laptop often camera and all the other stuff it's a very spacious bag it put like you can put a lot of stuff in there and it ends up being heavy I have some tissue paper in there because I like to keep it like that when being stored um, I love the red color, it's kind of like grainy leather and yeah, I think this bag is such a statement bag, it goes with a lot of outfits so even if I bring it on a trip with me it's perfect because I can just carry it around with the other outfits. Next bag is another Celine, for some reason I find Celine bags really great for traveling. I find it that also, maybe because most of the ones that I own are actually quite big and spacious and fit my laptop but also maybe because they're sturdy and I don't know just great for traveling um, so next one would be my Celine Trapeze and this is like an ink blue color or like a purpley blue color something like that it, this bag is heaven because it comes with a shoulder strap so even if it's heavy, it clearly fits my um, laptop and all the other stuff but also even though if it's heavy I still um, put it on my shoulder and I'm perfect I feel like my both hands are free which is great when you're traveling and shopping in duty free also has a back pocket here which for me is particularly handy I put my passport in there and a bunch of receipt as it seems that I need to clear up but usually I put my passport in there so I don't have to keep like digging through my bag um, when I'm like at the gate or at the security or at any kind of moment when I need my passport do you know that feeling when your bag is like so full and then you get to the gate you're like okay passport and then you start digging through the bag and there's just no passport like it's nowhere and then you're having like a meltdown you're super hot like you're taking off the coat you're putting all the bags down you're taking off the laptop the camera everything from your bag all the makeup like 50 shades of every single gloss that you own and then you realize that your passport's in your coat pocket and you're like everything's fine everything's fine it's okay it's here well that's an annoying thing when you travel with a big bag but i guess this back pocket helps um when you open this bag this is a, another annoying thing, you can't close it with one hand if you're traveling and you kind of have the other hand busy, which once 
was a very expensive thing for me because I lost something, it doesn't matter, long story. Um, but it also has some inner pockets here and a lot of change in my case. has like pockets here, as you can see. It has a flat bottom which is very helpful and I love it. I think it's beautiful because it has a top handle, a shoulder strap, and it's just a beautiful bag. I've had it for definitely over two years. I think the shape is intact, has not lost its shape whatsoever, and it looks pretty new, pristine, I would say. Next bag I would like to talk to you about is relatively new. It's a Valentino Rockstead tote uh, in tan color, and it's like really soft, um, not so like sturdy shape like the previous bag I showed you, which is a great thing because it means you can just like literally put so much stuff in it. Um, Great thing about this bag is again that it has a shoulder strap, so this really helps. Annoying thing is that it doesn't have shape, so some people might find it annoying. I don't find it annoying. I think it's like a beautiful thing about this bag. Um, obviously I always fill it up so much that it always has shape. It has like bottom studs as well, I'm not sure if you can see, so that when you put it on the floor it doesn't get scratched because the, so the leather is so soft, can't even imagine. Uh, it also has like um, a way to kind of like buckle it up here and then when you open it, it has a inner pocket here which is also useful. Um, I just love this bag, it's very soft, it's beautiful for traveling, I put it on my shoulder, I already wore it like three times when I traveled, I think, definitely to south of France, definitely to Dieseldorf, it's, it's basically great, it fits my laptop camera, all the other stuff that I mentioned before, and I, I don't know, I just really like it because it's a neutral color as well, so it does um, actually match a lot of stuff, so if you bring it with you when you're traveling, you're very likely to like kind of like bring it around. The only fault that I could kind of think of is that it's an easy target for thieves, but then I'm quite careful when it comes to things like that, touch wood, so um, for me it's not necessarily a problem. Bag number four is the, actually the first bag that I ever purchased, first designer bag that I ever purchased with my own money. Um, so it's quite dear to me actually and I have it now for something like seven years. I basically worked uh, during the summer in the pharmacy and every single penny that I made there I um, brought to me with a trip and then that money that I saved up I was like what am I gonna buy? Like I want to buy one big thing and I bought a Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. This is the medium size so there's even bigger one and I find that hard to believe because this is literally a never full. I can put, I don't know, like I feel like I can put anything in it and it's still, there's still gonna be space for more. It has like an inner pocket, it's like obviously like pretty, I would say like it's pretty dirty inside, like it's not any more white, it's kind of like beige, even though I clean it all the time. Uh, but like just imagine I've owned it for such a long time now it's my beach bag because it's not actually leather it is canvas bag so this is canvas like coated canvas but these bits are leather um, what I love about this bag is that it hasn't lost shape um, it has sturdy bottom it's perfect for traveling it's perfect beach bag fits so much in and then these straps are still very comfortable on your shoulder and you can also wear it like a different way by kind of like fastening this in and it just looks the same doesn't it anyway you get the point great bag fits a lot it's the cheapest of all of the bags that i showed you so i don't know how much it costs now but it used to be around five six hundred euros at the time last but definitely one of my favorites i'll just like pull my hair is um the last slim bag that i got the newest Celine bag for me and this is a Celine tie bag. It is beautiful firm leather. It's pretty heavy or I already have stuff in it. I already have stuff in it of course. Um, it's a beautiful grey color um, but still something like such a fashion piece like very fashionable I would say like this is probably currently most fashionable Celine bag there is. So if I bring it for travels with me it a fits 
literally everything inside obviously like you can open this and you can also wear it like this if you like as a proper tote um, it has several pockets on this side I think I think I filmed the what's in my bag with this bag so you can go and have a look it has a few pockets in here three more precisely and it has a lot of stuff from travels like adapters inside because I didn't unpack um, but yes, I love this bag because it's so beautiful, the leather is so fine, the actual, um, the actual shape is very very sturdy, it does not lose shape. I've obviously massaged these ears so that they sit like this because I like them when they're like that. At the bottom it has these metal studs as well so that you can put it on the floor, it does not get damaged. And it's an absolutely beautiful bag that I love to travel with. I also am obsessed with color grey, so anything grey really works for me. But I know I've showed you five bags now, and if you allow me, I would like to cheat and show you just one more bag, because this is like a bonus bag. Chanel Vogue, or Wallet and Chain, is a bag that I never travel without. Now you must be thinking like, but hold on a second, like, you need to put your laptop and your camera and everything else and certainly this is not gonna work it. I never travel only with this bag unless maybe I'm in a car and I have like five bags in the back seat, so that doesn't count. But I often, I, I every time bring this bag because what I like to do, I like to have a big bag to avoid the scene that I was talking to you about earlier when I'm like looking for my passport or boarding pass and I'm like I'm sure I lost it or my phone or any other thing so what I do is I have a full hand luggage of laptop camera GoPro chargers um, diary pens random lip glosses and all that other stuff and then I have this which is like basically wallet I put my wa uh, my passport inside my phone and cards and my boarding pass if it's not on my phone so this is really helpful because I always have it like if I'm shopping I don't have to dig to look for my wallet I don't have to dig to look for um, my passport my boarding pass I'm basically never looking for anything and thinking that I lost something because everything is in here and that's just amazing because even if you're traveling with one of those um, companies that don't allow you to have more than one bag you can just say this is my wallet and then put it in one of the bags that you've got already with you because this fits in everything is like literally the size of the phone so well if you have a very big phone but yeah like <laughs> um, it's a great bag again this blue color actually is a perfect like evening bag day bag it's great for trips travels and I just absolutely adore it. It's one of my hero bags which means that like I can't live without it and yeah that is the reason why this is my absolute favorite travel bag and I never go anywhere without it. That was a lot of bag talk. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and if you would like to see more bag videos please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I will try and make like a playlist with all of my bag videos up to date so go and have a look there. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!